Howdy! Welcome back to the Crusty Croissant. The Crusty Croissant, I assume. <laughs> Either way. So, uh, in this episode of the beginnings of life, we're actually now into the first week. It's literally a week, so I'm just distracted by a small human that's home and ill, hence that I'm here and not underneath it fixing something that's broken. Because it's still crusty and there's still bits broken. We're getting there. Anyway, uh, currently this episode will be featuring my adventures involving a MIG welder, a broken exhaust, and then things descend from not so good to very much less good into let's just get it fixed. What is the bare minimum required to make it not sound offensive? And that's what we did. So. Day two in the life of French car ownership with the crusty croissant. Yes, you see correctly. It is now lifted up. Now to try and deal with said exhaust that is... Uh, a little bit less than polite sounding, shall we say? Let's just say it's a fart can. It sounds ridiculous. And um, today, helping us get through said trials and tribulations, Finland's finest, Mr. Kempi. He will be uh, supplying us with fresh metal, mostly in the form of this piece of wire. And I'll be ridding the scrap bin for whatever little bits of metal I can make out a patch from. To weld this up. It's only a very small break around a weld, so otherwise the exhaust seems fine. But that's the nature of exhaust. I'll be back after some more splattering. So here's the script. We have our lunch break, with which we have to try and fix the yawning hippo of a car here. Disconnected the battery for just, you know, I'd rather it didn't go on fire yet. I've ready the scrap bin. I have two pieces of this that will then go bonk and bonk. Mr. Kempy there will be involved in the equation. And here is our culprit. It's not going to be a pretty repair, but it's going to be temper temporary? Temperamental. Temperamental is probably more accurate than temporary. Let's see how we go. Not the most productive. Filled all the holes that were in the centre box, reattached it so the pipe was now attached to the, the hanger and the box coming out. Unfortunately all that did was apply more pressure to the back box which is now blowing holes all around its joint. So I think we have to admit defeat and possibly head down the route of exhaust paste. Yes, exhaust paste, that's what we're going to do. New exhaust? Day two, out of the workshop garage after welding up half of the exhaust, then it just increased pressure, blew out the back part. Anyway, we've done that part. Let's drive home in the snow and see what fun we can have. At this point here, the uh, sound went all wonky donk in the video, so I don't want to play because it sounds like somebody's using a very tiny little pneumatic drill and it's like it's on the top of your head and going through your cranium very slowly. Highly irritating, even more so than having a French car that you've just spent your lunch break fixing. It was like a two steps forward, two steps back, and I basically went on a little diatribe of like how it felt good that it was nice and quieter in there, except for it was now a bit more boy racerish because it was sprouting out the back box instead of a sort of subtle puff out of the middle box. Still sounded crap. Uh, no, so no such luck on finding an exhaust because uh, being a Renault Sport in Finland here, there is nobody except Renault that had one available. And uh, luckily I was sitting down when I got that price because let's just say we didn't go there. I continue. Day two continues. We have the paste. We are going to continue with trying to get the exhaust to not sound like a fart can. 
this is not a permanent solution. This is because it's embarrassing to drive right now and there's nothing else I can do because it's minus 17. And this is the best garage space that I can get to use in right now. If need be, then I would use it. But otherwise, it's not quite ideal. But we're going to fill it up. Kiros to Villa for giving us the space that we can actually use to get in here and do this. And uh, let's turn the crusty croissant into less of a fart box. I'll do a small video with a sound of it sounding now because it's uh, mm, farty at best. Mm. So, the sound of the fart. And a rattling heat shield and an inner silent tube. Not bad, but it's not good. I'll report back after I've smeared it with putty. Nobody's watching, right? Don't look at me while I do this. Fade in. Billy, James, Billy, nice man. Gives garage space. Yeah. Ooh, so much, much space. space, but much it's space. enough to do bodge. He's bodge. I'm scarper. Mm. 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 I watch Nate Candy. He make job. Mm. We charge for two people though. Yes, mm. yes, always. But mm. I always have to work. It's not fair. Boss life. The delightful crunching sound of Villa eating crisps. It's still happening. But! Or but! Which way's up? Well, anyway, it's all fine. Relative. But! We have fixed! <laughs> I use the loosest possible term. Fixed. So you're ready for the delightful... Villa, you need to hoover in here. Seriously, this is dusty as hell. I can't work in these conditions. I will not get to clean. It's not All clean. Are you ready for the horror? That is... Dun, dun, dun! Oh, so much fireplace assembly paste. Oh my god, it's going to take two weeks for it to set. Uh, Villa, you don't need this garage, do you? No. Good, good, good. No, doesn't fit in. <laughs> this is going to be here for a while, I think. But uh, yeah, you can see like... You can see some of the lumpy plates I put in that braced it at college, but... Basically, the box metal there was just running away from me and getting worse and worse. And this seam looked a bit crusty, so I've done that. It will get a new exhaust eventually, but priorities at the moment lie with handbrake, because there is no handbrake at all. I think we'll do that first. That might be the priority. And the rattling heat shield has been fixed with... Dun, dun, dun. The same process. For you kids at home who want to know, you find the holes in your heat shield, you squirt the goo through the hole, you press the heat shield into the chassis, into the goo, and no longer ting-tings. Isn't that great? Today's top tip was brought to you by Bison and Budget and Scarper. It's been two hours and a bit. More importantly, it's been two cups of tea and an episode of some car TV shows. Villa is getting the owners, he is inside there. Is Let's oil see. Okay. Oil is okay. Hey! Silencio! I don't know what silence is in French, so I just have to go with silencio. It sounds French, it sounds foreign. And the rattling you can hear is the baffle inside the center exhaust silencer, which is completely dumb. And short of drilling a hole into it and screwing a bolt through, not that I've thought about this, you can hear it, is the only way to stop that moving. I may yet do that. One very long self. I think a tech screw should do it, Billy. If I take like a two inch long tech screw and just stick it through the silencer box. Budget and scarper. There we go, today's day two success. The car is instantly worth at least four euros more. I spent five on the exhaust paste, so maybe five euros more, but it doesn't fart anymore. Woohoo! At this point, I'm basically going on to say that, again, the sound was all corrupted, so it didn't sound very good, so I'll uh, add it on now. I'm basically going blah, 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 blah. The car is much quieter now. It's a bit nicer to drive. 
The exhaust still hits off the back axle, although I hadn't fixed that as I thought, but now I can hear every other rattle and clunk that the car makes because it's not hidden by that anymore. But, I did say, always look on the bright side of life. Ni le bien, 